All right, hey there, everybody. Um, my name is Chris Gerber. This is uh, my final assignment for week six of Introduction to Music Production. Uh, I'm going to talk about, actually, we're going to walk through uh, my favorite synthesizer uh, as of late. It's the Yamaha CS80, which is this real world synth. Um, they make it as a VST plugin for your DAW, so that's what we're going to be working with today. Uh, I wanted to take a minute just to apologize for the background noise you're hearing. They're doing some crazy construction right below my window, and I can't do anything about that. So thanks for bearing with me in advance. So as Loudon was talking about this week, any synth kind of has three main components. So one is the oscillator, or voltage-controlled oscillator, uh, followed by the voltage-controlled filter, followed by the voltage-controlled amplifier. And they usually run in this sequence from oscillator to filter to amplifier, and they do here as well. So that's the sound I'm going to be working with uh, today. So let's get into the oscillator waveform. So in this synth that's right here, uh, these knobs kind of select it. So see, I play some notes and nothing happens because I have no waveform selected. There's your square wave. There's your triangle wave, and there's your sawtooth. And there's your sawtooth mixed with the square wave. Not sure how that works, but it does sound pretty cool. Um, next, we'll talk about the oscillator frequency. So actually, I think that has to do with the LFO. So there's an LFO you can attach to this, this thing here. Um, I haven't actually mastered this uh, channel-specific LFO, but this LFO I do understand fairly well. So let's work with this one so we can change the oscillator frequency with this knob here. Uh, let's make the LFO affect the voltage controlled oscillator so that should affect the pitch. Let's see how that sounds. Cool. Now let's talk about the filters. So well, actually, let's step back one second. So for that uh, oscillator, you can also select different waveforms here for that. OK, enough of that. Let's move on to the filters. So there are two filters here. There's the high pass filter right here and the low pass filter. So for each of these, the green knob uh, gives or selects the frequency, and the red knob selects the resonance. So let's see how this sounds. So there you go. You can turn them off and on by just selecting them. Uh, so that covers the filter. There, actually, this synth also has um, an ADR for the filter and also this kind of initial level and attack level. So you can do some cool things with that. It's kind of like applying an envelope to the filter specifically. Um, let's move on to the amplifier. Uh, so the amplitude envelope is your regular ADSR. Here they actually also have, if you turn off these, you can give yourself a sine wave as your waveform. So it's, it's weird that it's in the VCA section but it kind of makes some sense because I'm not sure that the filter will even do anything to the, the sine wave because it has uh, energy at one frequency and one frequency alone. I think it probably could have a filter applied to it, you know, theoretically, but I guess here they just say, you know, after your filter is applied to whatever else you're doing, you can give it a little bit of a hum with uh, your sine wave, which is, I think, pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it for uh, my talk, and I wanted to say it's a pleasure being in the course with you, and I hope that uh, I wish you um, greatness in your musical journey uh, ahead. So thanks so much. See you later.